Let's go. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Day 18 in the Big Brother house, 8.55am. Later today, the housemates will be asked to nominate each other for eviction for the second time. Stu is the first person up. Ten nineteen a.m. The rest of the housemates get up. Brian has spent his second night in the girls' bedroom. This is Big Brother. Your shopping has been delivered, and the storeroom is now open. Woo! We can have a cup of tea. The windows up, ready to get a tea bag. Cup of tea. Now it's Mike. Dudes. Check it out. Look at that. Excellent. That's good, that is. Yeah, what well, do you have to guess what these are then? Cider. Oh, yeah, can I have a look at what they are? Having passed last week's task, the group had £112 to spend on shopping. They've chosen to buy mostly economy brand products. Oh, guys, chocolate. It's like a free one. Ping pong balls, guys. That's great. Brilliant. That looks wicked, doesn't it? Ah, oh, look at all the cheese. Josh is probably thinking, this doesn't look so great, but I'm thinking it's three weeks it will. Well, you can tell the economy, but... You're going to taste good. That's my guess. <laughs> Do you want it, Josh? Fantastic. Actually, I wish I was having porridge now. Ugh. They're awful. They may be awful, but they're damn sight better than porridge. Then hot. They are for me, God. Oh, cornflakes are awful. I'm taking to porridge next time. The economy, and they really are economy as well. With no washing machine in the house, Narinda helps Josh to hand wash his clothes. Just have to throw yourself in, Josh. You wouldn't yeah, have, and the girls like it, of... so. <laughs> I was thinking about the guys, but the girls love it. So I'm moving into yours ne next week, am I? What do you think? You get to chuck it out? <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I just said that to the lads out there. I said, I couldn't, I'm so glad they give me a, a week's grace. Really? It's awful, got, isn't it? it? Oh, for me, I don't even know anyone. I couldn't choose. Oh, I've got a competition in the house. I've, I've been out here since 7 o'clock this morning. OK, my top's coming out. Whee! Even we had to all choose after a week oh. as well, and honestly, oh, dear, everyone course. was in a state. And I think everyone's more relaxed this week, but the, the week before, it was just... Honestly, we were, like, pulling our hair out. Right. A lot of people were, but I think some people definitely had right... But it's, it, it is hard, it's, it's very awful, hard. Awful. And I thought it would be easy, I thought the first one's bound to be hard. Well, you, the thing is, you think, it's because you're all so, you're all so nice, you usually the beat you, if I've got ten people, it's going to be two people, characteristics you might not get on with. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, absolutely. I'm thankful Josh is staying inside. I told him it's freezing out here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be dishonest, there are certain people who yeah. I do get irritated yeah, by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's just the way it is. You but most of the people are great and yeah. it's just hard. It really is hard. Really? So, question for Brian. Brian, uh -huh. what is the worst turbulence you've had in a plane? And, and how do you define shit yourself bad? I hate because I've, I've had shit yourself bad that I would consider it, but the it's air hostess was like, nah, this is bad, and I was shitting myself. When it was so bad that we had to empty all the um, hot water, not tea and coffee out into the carpets, put our trolleys away, and when we were coming in, I was sitting up, I was a forward, I was up here and the passengers were down here. Oh, God. I, just, I was just like, right, time to go and get my shorts on. <laughs> I just, that's why I came in here, the stories I knew Paul was getting into one. He's so funny. 
<laughs> you know, I haven't really noticed that, but you know, was it someone, was it Brian that said it last night? Like, yeah. if you've nearly died while yeah. jumping off a cliff, then Paul has done it better. I climbed out from the back oh, one, ran across sake. the roof of this double decker, and everyone in the street's going for gear, and I'm just like, don't know what I'm doing. So I ran across the top, and I basically came down the front sunroof. That was pretty nuts. We've probably all had them, and I'm like, yeah, you know, it's just like walking one day and you know, I suppose nearly fell off a cliff, but you know, these things happen. You know, you're just like, yeah. And the guy's like, right, well, yeah. it was amazing. I was going 135, <laughs> got the dual carriage away. with each other. It's, yeah, and it's like, who's got the best story? And we're just like. You just rolled down a, a 30 foot yeah. bank straight yeah. into, the, tra into the, the traffic. So yeah, that wasn't fine, fun. He, he'd be going on and on all day. Do you think it's because Josh is here and he's trying to like, They've just you know I mean? two what it all to... have become. It's weird. So I walked out, I saw the car, walked straight up to it, stuck the key in the door, opened it up, got into the driver's seat, stuck the key in the ignition, turned it over, backed out, started driving down the road. <laughs> Looked down into the passenger well, and there's this big bottle of moisturising lotion. That is not my moisturising lotion. Looked around the car, all the interior is completely different. I fucking drove someone else's car out of the car park <laughs> and down the road. Right. <laughs> no word of a lie. For this week's task, the housemates must memorise personal information about each other. Each day, Big Brother sets them five questions. They'll be tested on Wednesday. Being murdered. Well, no, 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 sorry, the, no, what's the next one? Biggest what fear. is your biggest fear? Being murdered. Being murdered. My reality is a dream. What? Oh. what? My biggest fear is that my reality is somebody else's dream. When they wake up, I'll just disappear. Hey. So I put my reality as a dream. Okay, now that makes sense. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm not being able to protect my family. That's cool. Violence. Never find in love. Being alone. Being alone. Insanity. 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 I'll never remember that one. You will look. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching yes. Insanity. Me. You will. Yeah. Going, Going mad, darling. Oh, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Big Brother calls Josh into the diary room. Oh, exactly. Every day is getting easier for me, sort of gel with everybody. Um, it's good, it's really good, it's really fun. Uh, not, nothing too strenuous, nothing too stressful at the moment. So um, I'm, I'm lucky, I'm still full of energy and lots of enthusiasm. How do you feel you're settling in? <laughs> Very calming voice there. Um, Am I settling uh, a lot, a lot better than I thought I would? I have the first day. I, I was a bit worried. I was actually very worried and thought it was going to be so very, very, very difficult. Um, but I've just been myself, um, gone about being myself, and just tried to sort of gel in as easy as possible and just ease myself in slowly with everybody. So um, it's not bad. It's better than I thought it would be. It's um, waiting for the oh, water. Oh, 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 you can do it because Go. you get into a rhythm. Go. Do what you got. Vitamin. My vitamins back. And my hay fever, and my hay fever tablets. Are there any drugs in? <laughs> um, me. Yeah. Uh, great for skin, hair. Yeah. Pizza carotid. Yeah, Pizza carotid for sun yeah. waving. Sometimes. That's for sun yeah. You've been cheating. You che <laughs> and that one's... He's not brown at all, he's just got carrot juice in his skin. Could you please give the name of your first nomination? In one! In one! In one! In one. In one. Difficult though, isn't it? 4.29pm. The housemates wait to make their second round of nominations. Yes. It's been over two hours, isn't it? Yeah, just this is the what they like to do this bit to you. Yeah. I was on bar two downstairs. I'm on it with Michelle, blah blah, and then I go from a break at like half nine because they do it early. This is Big Brother. The nominations will be taking like place in five minutes' time. Sexy, that is. Would everyone please yeah, gather on the sofas? It's the second time the housemates have had to nominate each other for eviction. As a new housemate, well, Josh mind. is excluded yeah. from the process oh, this week. Used to it. I'm tough on that. Please come to the diary. Good luck, everyone. Which yeah. is yeah. not saying that. Yeah, it's not saying that. There we go. I didn't think someone was going to find out. She's too calm, I think. It's green, Emma. Hello, big brother. Hello, Emma. Could you please give the name of your first nomination? 
My first nomination is Paul. I think Paul's a lovely bloke, but um, some of the some of the things he does tends to annoy me, and it bring he brings out the worst. He brings out my worst points. My second nomination is um, Stuart. He's very competitive and and he's got a bit of a smug streak. Well confident. <laughs> <Said that. laughs> I've shot myself, I'm afraid of turkeys, I'm afraid of hens. Alice quit. He's never had an Indian until he... And once you come out, you go pack your bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nominating Stuart um, this week because I think he's changed um, a little bit and I've noticed um, different characteristics and I think he's a little bit more competitive um, than the rest of us and it might cause a few arguments down the line. My second nomination this week is for Helen. I think at times she requires a lot of um, reassuring concerning tasks or, or daily things. Um, Sorry, I had to. That's all right, love. Me, love. Uh, you. A lot. Bubble, could you please give the name of your first nomination? Paul. I do not get on as well with Paul as I do with other people in the house. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination? Helen. I think in the long run, she could lose a task. And I don't know why, because she certainly is capable of it, but she just doesn't believe it. Helen, Paul and Stuart each have two votes. Dean comes to the diary room. Um, Narinda remains the person I get on least well with in the house. My second nomination is Paul. I've got a sort of list of people standing in a line who I get on with best and who I get on with least. And Paul is the next in line. Paul now has four votes. Stuart has three. Helen has two, and Narinda has one. Could you please give the name of your first nomination? Paul, I'm not really on the same wavelength as him, and he also spits a lot, which I don't really like. And Stuart, he's got this quite aggressive, competitive edge to him, which sometimes spills over and it's not really a joke. Open in the chicken pen. You, you've got your feet covered. I was playing basketball with Cash. So it just looks oh. like Naming my first nomination is Narinda. Um, I don't think I gel as well as with her as I do with Amber and Elizabeth. I'm nominating Bubble because there is a few points about Bubble, like when he gets in a bad mood and shouts that he says he's only joking, but it does scare me in quite a way, and I don't think he is joking. I have nominated Stuart and Helen. I just had to give her the benefit of the doubt and really made an effort and she just threw it all back in my face on Saturday with the wild accusations and it really hurt me. I really feel like getting rid of one of, well, a few of the boring blokes in here. So I'm starting off with um, Stuart. His main focus is getting a tan. Stuart and Paul have each received four nominations, so they will both face the public vote this week. Their votes will now decide if anyone else will join them. I'm nominating Emma. She seems to think she knows a lot more than she does about some topics, even if someone knows that they, that they do know. Second nomination is Bubble. I feel that, as I say, if I was to progress further, I think he could end up annoying me. She would. Yeah. I'll be doing that as well. I'll be going She's nuts. Well, she made you feel it. uncomfortable in a sense. I, I was like, oh, Penny and Dog, because I felt like, oh. Stuart, could you please give the name of your first nomination? Emma. Um, I think that um, she's not actually now um, participating for the, the group activities, um, and I think that she's also not pulling her weight in the house. Could you give the name of your second nomination? Narinda. Um, one of the challenges, um, let somebody else take the blame for the failure and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm displeased by that. This week, two people are up for eviction, Paul and Stuart. Three people, Elizabeth, Dean and Brian, receive no nominations. Welcome. Big Brother will reveal who has been nominated later this week. Later this Late. week? Jesus Christ, you baggers! 5.33 p.m. Dean and Elizabeth are in the garden, practising Tai Chi.
bake? Does your mum bake a lot at home? No, she's just done now. Pardon? She divorced my dad, she's done by that. Up around the ball. I'm shifting my weight back. I'm not finishing like that. Yeah? Okay. Same again then. Up round. She starts to shift backwards. And foot up. Oh, oh shit. How about you, Sam? He's, he's just... Boring. He's just... 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 Yeah. These two half circles are about the size of a football. Oh, right, that is right. Yes, that's right. So it's into it, darling. It's all right. Um, we've run out of baking trays. If we grease this up, can we put bis biscuits in that and no. Okay, yeah, that's an oven-proof dish. Yeah? Yeah, right, yeah. Board, yeah. Then OK. Yeah, it's always more deep. Thank you. It's really funny. I seem to have become the source of all knowledge of kitchen equipment. And I'm Good. like, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine. And people have said to me a couple of times, what should we do for dinner? And I'm like... Yeah, I'm like, well, what do you want to do? It's like lunch today. Like, I came in and someone said to me, what are we having for lunch? And I was like, I don't know, what are we having for lunch? Do you know what I mean? And I'm the funny like... thing is you find yourself answering. Yeah, and I'm... Don't you? Yeah. Because uh, then, then Bobble said to me a few times, you know, when can we start playing tricks on Josh? I can just like, like well, my dad. Yeah. Okay, four days. <laughs> yeah, he's got two <laughs> and days. And then left. Brian said something. He said Bobble and Bobble went no. Dean said he can't do it for yeah. four days. I was like, and it's okay. Like, it's like Elizabeth says you can't use that dish in there, and I'm like, do what you want. I know it's funny, isn't it? It's funny, I suppose, how people need. Yeah. Someone a bit to, of to guidance. The response. It's, I think it's a responsibility thing though, as well. Mm. Maybe. I don't know what it is actually. The housemates have bought 30 litres of cider out of this week's shopping budget. Brian and Helen have had eight glasses each. You all had to answer you this? Yeah, you all we had to answer this. Come on. Oh, absolutely. As if you have, you all had to answer this. We have, we have, honestly. Come on. Straight up. We don't believe you can watch it when you get out. arguments, trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, who would you sleep with? Who would you sleep with? Just oh, pick one. Well, no, no, it doesn't. I mean, I picked Stuart. I mean, I would never sleep with him, but I picked him because he was a safe bet. He was married and I wouldn't do it. Tell me. I have had how many? Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, eight, 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 eight,
Did you see Nimrida's face when Josh said he'd sleep with you? She did so not like it. I wasn't really listening. Oh, I, oh, I wasn't looking, sorry. I was listening. I, I was very flattered. Listen. Pardon me. <laughs> I don't know, I've got a clean one. Come on. Oh, no, one minute. Oh! Yeah, if anyone says it's like... shaggy, I'd be flattered. I want the pulls. No, no, I'd still be flattered. Doesn't mean that I'd want it. Well, actually, no, I take that back because I think he'd shag anything. Narinda comes to the diary room. Hello, Narinda. Hi, yeah. I just needed a chat, really. I'm really missing my husband. Sorry, meeting a biscuit. Big Brother's listening, Narinda. hard in here. It's hard in here and I miss my husband. This past two days is really hard. What do you think is the hardest thing about being in the house? Having to get on with people. I think in the real world you don't have to. You can walk away from it and you know, that's how you deal with it, but here you can't do that and you do have to get on with people and not have the people who know you and don't mind your bad points, but here your bad points are like noted and put away and then brought out to be accounted for because your bad points get accounted for on nomination day. <laughs> 1228 AM. Stuart and Dean have just gone to bed. The nomination things, in a way, is quite horrible because you do sit around looking around thinking, I wonder if you have voted me. Yeah. You know? Except, I mean, how can I wonder if someone's nominated me? Yeah, sure. When I've had to nominate someone. If I'm nominated. And you can almost you get yourself into this paranoia state. You know, is it you that, that yeah. may have done that? And then you start. Stick it on, mate. Yeah. yeah. You start almost like, as you say, you know, like the worst cases, I'm going home. Of course. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Especially, like I say, no, you're not the first one. No, exactly. Because I don't think anyone really wanted to be. So, yeah, you know, bring them on. Let's just get them, you know, bring on my turn, bring on whatever. Let's just get it going and moving forward. This week, two people are up for eviction. Who goes, you decide. To Vic Paul, call 09011 To Vic Stewart, call 09011 154410.